Hi everyone and welcome back for another episode of the Wellbe show and podcast. Um, I am so excited to have with me Jill Blakeway today. She is a licensed and board certified acupuncturist and clinical herbalist. She is also the founder of the lovely Unova Center in New York City where we are right now. And she is the author of three books including Energy Healing which you can see there, which we'll be discussing a lot about today, but also about acupuncture and the rest of her life and career. Um, she also teaches gynecology and obstetrics at the doctoral in the doctoral program at Pacific College of Oriental Medicine in San Diego and has a focus on fertility in her practice. She was also the first acupuncturist, which I love, to ever give a TED Talk at TED Global in 2012. A very exciting career and person. I'm so excited to have you. Thank you so much, Adrian. It's lovely to be on your show. Thank you. Okay, so first things first, clearly you are not Chinese or even Asian, so I would love to know how you got from Great Britain to Chinese medicine and becoming an acupuncturist and an energy healer. Yes, it was a bit of a journey. And in fact, it's a journey I tell in this book, Energy Medicine, which is part memoir, which is how I got from being a sort of pretty sort of ordinary British girl um, and, and very conventional. I worked for the Queen. I, I, you know, I did not think I was going to end up an acupuncturist in New York, let alone an energy worker, um, and how I got here. And how I got here was in stages. I um, discovered acupuncture. And like a lot of acupuncturists of my generation, I've done this for 25 years, but I um, I, I, I came to it because I saw that it worked and then I became fascinated and I sort of fell down a rabbit hole of Chinese medicine and I ended up doing a master's and then a doctorate in Chinese medicine. And acupuncture is energy medicine. But for a long time, I didn't necessarily understand how deeply connected to energy medicine it is. It is, in fact, one of the oldest forms of energy medicine. But when I started to practice, I started to feel the energetics of the treatment. And that led me on a journey to explain the science as well as some of the mystery behind the energy medicine, which is why the book's called Energy Medicine, the Science and Mystery of Healing. Besides acupuncture, you know, what is it and what therapies does it officially include? Well, energy healing refers to all those modalities that either diagnose or treat illness by manipulating the energy, the electromagnetic energy that pulses through every cell. And so it's a broad field. It includes acupuncture uh, at one end. It's not just an energetic technique. It is actually more physical as well. Um, and acupuncturists are the only licensed and board certified energy workers, which means they are held to a certain standard of education and a certain standard ethically and things like that. But there are some very interesting hands-on and hands-off therapies. And energy medicine covers things like Reiki and pranic healing and therapeutic touch as well. And in the book, I set off on a journey. I was very lucky. Harpy Collins paid me to go around the world and meet with healers and also scientists who could explain what they were doing and measure the effects. Uh, and so I, I met some extraordinary healers um, as, I, as I journeyed, particularly in Japan. I spent a bit of time in Japan. And there is a big tradition of energy medicine in Japan. It's where Reiki comes from. 